again everyone, Dave Thomas here and today I am building one of the simplest model rocket kits ever, the SD Swift. This is truly just a motor tube that doubles as a body tube that's just as long as the motor, a nose cone and three fins and a launch lug. And that's it. There's no recovery system, it uses featherweight recovery, um, nothing else fancy about it. However, Estes does consider this an intermediate kit, mainly because of its size. So you got lots of small parts here. Um, you do have to work with balsa fins. But other than that, this goes together fairly easily. Our parts list is right here in front of us. So we've got our fin stock here, nose cone, body tube slash motor mount, launch lug, and we've got some self-adhesive decals here. Our first task is to cut out the fin marking guide. Um, before I get started on that though, if you do want to use the color scheme that's shown here on the package, you may want to take the nose cone and go paint it first before the assembly. Um, the rest of the rocket all uses the same color so you can paint it all at the same time. And then just put the, the painted nose cone back on when the rest of the painting is finished. Okay, so I'm just going to quickly cut out the fin marking guide. And again, if you don't want to cut up your instructions, just make a photocopy of this. cut all the way through on that. Um, yeah, make sure you don't have your instructions double loaded. Fortunately, it's nothing I, I need to have critical to the build. Now I'm going to take the body tube here and simply wrap the fin marking guide around it. And you can do this right through the middle because we're going to draw our fin lines along the entire length of the tube. And here I'm just going to put a little piece of tape on this. And now simply take my pencil and mark each fin line here. Now notice there is no launch lug line. The launch lug will be glued right next to one of the fins. All right, and then you need to put this up against a straight edge. Um, classically a door frame is used. I am going to use this um, tube marking guide that Estes makes, uh, mainly because it's really hard to video when using a door frame. So this is nice and portable. Um, you don't need one of these things to do rockets, but I found it's really, really handy. If you're going to build a lot of rockets, um, it's worth the investment. And I'm just going through and drawing a line all the way down the body tube at each of my marks there. I've set aside my body tube for just a moment, and now I'm going to take my fin stock here and just lightly sand it before taking the fins off. Uh, I'm using some 150 grit sandpaper. And it works best if you have this on a flat sand, uh, sanding uh, surface. Uh, I'm using a sanding tee here. You can use just a block of wood. That works fine too. Uh, but it just helps keep the surface flat, unlike your fingers that tend to curve inward a little bit. This just gives us a uniform surface to start with. Of 
Okay, and then once you've got the sanding done, just take your hobby knife and cut through the little tabs that are holding the fins in place. Sometimes one side's easier to see than the other. All right, and these are pretty fragile, so be careful when you're cutting them out. If you break the thin stock around it, that's not a big deal. <clears throat> now, depending on your personal preferences, um, you may want to treat the fins in one way or another to seal the grain and make them smoother. So you can use sanding sealer, you could paper the fins, um, or you can just leave them the way they are and depend on a heavier coating of paint later on. For the purposes of this video, I am just going to go with what I have here and not pre-treat the fins with any type of sealer or such. I will go ahead and give each one just a little bit of sanding here to remove any remaining tabs And then you can also just bunch them all together here. And see that they're the same size. And again, here you can check if there's any remaining stuff that needs sanded. Uh, it looks like a little bit there. So you can either place some sanding paper on your table and, and move the fins. Or I'm going to do it this way. Okay. And usually um, people will streamline their fins, at least partially. The instructions for this don't indicate doing that. And I think the main reason is just for strength. Um, and it probably won't make a big difference to how high it's going to go anyway. So if you do want to round the leading edges, um, this is the time to do it. It's a lot easier to do it before you put the fins on than it is to do it afterward. Uh, but I'm going to leave them squared off the way they are. Alright, now we're ready to put the fins on. Before I do, I'm going to take my sandpaper here and just roughen up where the fin's going to go. Just a little bit there. And what this is going to do is help the glue to adhere a bit better. And I'm only doing this right where the fins are going to go. Alright, and now you want just a thin film of glue here. Um, many beginning rocketeers make the mistake of using too much glue. And the problem is it takes longer to dry. So if you start with a thin film here, and now I'm going to apply that like this so the edge of the root edge there is right at the aft end of the rocket. Now I'm going to pull it away again. And I'm going to let this dry for about 30 seconds to let it get tacky. And then we'll put it back on. Thirty seconds have passed, and I'm just going to put this right back on again. Okay, and now I can check the alignment. So this should be sticking up straight from the tube. And it should be in alignment with the rest of the tube. You don't want it canted or twisted there. And let this dry um, at least ten minutes if you're using wood glue, twenty if you're using white glue. 
and then go on to the next fin. And I'm going to do that off camera. All right, my initial glue on the fins is dry and the next step is to attach the launch lug. Now notice this is almost as long as the body tube and it's just going to go right along one of the fins here. And so again we'll put a little bit of glue on that. And it doesn't matter which fin you stick it next to. If you see a little imperfection or something, that's a good way to hide it. Um, but generally, you just stick it wherever you want. Up against a fin there. I'm just going to rotate so the glue is down on the bottom. And you can use the fin line to see to align your launch lug there as well. Looks like my fin was just a hair off, but that's all right. Okay, and so I'll let this dry once more, and when we come back, we'll put fillets in it. The glue on my fins is dry, and now I'm going to apply fillets, and these just reinforce the fins where they meet the body tube. And here we're just going to run a bead of glue here, and you can use wood or white glue for this. All right, and that's way too much, so now I'm going to take my finger and just smooth that in. So that we have a nice smooth transition from the body tube to the fin. And I'll do the same over here, using the excess glue. Okay, and now it's best to let this dry um, face up like this and horizontal. If you leave your rocket vertical like that, the glue will tend to run toward gravity and you'll get bulges. Um, and also you don't want to try and do these all at once. So if you can keep it horizontal with one face up here, let that dry for probably need about 15 minutes or so, and then turn it and do the next face. And you'll also need to put fillets along the uh, launch lug here as well as where it meets the fin. So I'm going to go off camera and let this dry and then complete my fillets. And then when we come back, we'll look at painting. My fillets have dried and I've applied a coat of primer to this. And you can see where it looks kind of rough in here now. And that's, I was kind of planning on this. Um, now I can take some sandpaper and smooth that rough area out and the little things like the kind of hairy pieces of wood and little spl splinter like areas will be locked in place by the primer. Okay, I've also painted my nose cone uh, using a little bit of black spray paint and this will simply fit on the top here like this and you'll need to glue this in place. So I am not going to show that part here because I'm going to finish painting. Um, but if you want to go ahead and put yours together and then paint it all afterward, um, I would use either some gel type super glue or some tube type plastic cement, not the brush on type. You're going to need something thick in here that will not only grab the plastic, but as it dries will grab the cardboard in there as well. The paint is dry on both the rocket body itself and on the nose cone. So my last step here is to attach the nose. And the instructions say to use um, tube type plastic cement. I'm going to use some gel type super glue here. Just because I found it works a bit better for these types of applications. I don't want too much because I don't want a big glob extending down into the tube where it might interfere with the motor. So I want just enough here that it will hold the nose cone on. And now I'm just going to place the nose cone here and twist it into place. 
spreading that glue out throughout and that's it all right I am not going to do the video the uh, decals in this video I will leave those to your own artistic inclinations um, and keep in mind this is going to fly really high so I would start this out um, with a quarter A or a half A engine don't go directly to the full A and I hope you had fun building this rocket and launching it and have a good launch, a safe recovery, and you'll see me in the next video.